What is a clinical exercise physiologist? What's going on everybody? My name is Luke McMillan and this is the online resource for fitness professionals everywhere where I help you with career, education, practical application, and business. Let's get into it. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. If you've gained any value from this video at all, please just give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me, and I look forward to giving you more content related to becoming a CEP or a CSCS, helping you with your study prep, or pushing you along in your career or business. Now let's get into today's topic, what is a clinical exercise physiologist? CEPs are university qualified allied health professionals that prescribe and administer exercise interventions to those who struggle with chronic medical conditions. Now we also work with acute medical conditions, injuries, or disabilities. And we apply research-based exercise interventions to help support these individuals. So as a CEP, I am able to work with high-risk populations. And if you're looking to become a CEP, then you would too. Now these high-risk populations would include uh, you know, such conditions as diabetes, COPD, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, you know, any type of cardiovascular, pulmonary, muscular skeletal condition, you know, we're able to work with them and uh, apply research-based exercise interventions to help support these people. CEPs are also not personal trainers. We can act as personal trainers, we can work with general population, and we actually work with high-performance athletes quite a bit, which I'll get into later, but we're definitely not personal trainers, especially with organizations giving out certified personal trainer uh, credentials with minimal previous education requirements. As I said at the beginning, we are allied health professionals, university qualified. So that means we've been to university, you know, some CEPs go after their master's degree in clinical exercise physiology. You know, myself, I went after a CEP certification through CSEP, Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology. So this is in addition to my bachelor's degree and requires a fair amount of work. You may be wondering what a regular day in the life looks like for a CEP. You know, what are the differences between being a CEP and a CPT? Well, I currently work as a CEP for a Canadian military base as a civilian for my nine to five job in addition to my business services. So let me give you some of the significant differences. Communication with physicians, whether that be communication with the base surgeon, doctors, nurse practitioners, physiotherapists, those are the individuals that I'm receiving referrals from, medical information from, so that I can efficiently prescribe exercise interventions to these individuals with chronic disease, okay? That would be one of the main differences. And then these individuals have chronic disease and I am able to monitor physiological responses to ensure appropriate adaptation and exercise prescription. Another main difference would be recognition of medications. So part of my education was learning about the medications effect on exercise and being able to work around and maneuver around uh, understanding some of these medications and how they may affect some of these individuals in their aerobic or resistance training. As any fitness professional should recognize, no matter what type of credential you have, there should always be some sort of screening, evaluation, and prescription protocol. And so the same is true as a CEP or as a clinical exercise physiologist. It just looks a little bit more in depth, a little bit more scientific because we are working with these higher risk populations. So these are medically supervised plans with an individualized approach to help manage disease, injuries, or disabilities. However, one of my favorite parts of becoming a CEP was the major emphasis placed on performance testing and evaluation. So say you're a certified strength and conditioning specialist and you're looking to propel your education. This could still be a route that you should consider based on physiologically testing your athletes. The performance angle would include being able to use a metabolic cart on your high performance athletes. Now, as a CPT or as a certified personal trainer, you may go through some sort of education that will give you some foundation in terms of submaximal VO2 max testing, 
which would give you a prediction of a VO2 max score. However, going through your CEP training, you will learn how to use and interpret data from a VO2 max test. Okay, so this could definitely come in handy when working with your high performance athletes. Now, in addition to the high performance angle, we can also administer stress tests for high risk populations. So maybe someone's coming off of a heart surgery and you want to administer a stress test and interpret data on an ECG. Well, this is also something that CEPs are trained in. If you're looking to learn more about becoming a clinical exercise physiologist, I have a video that will walk you through the steps to do so. Okay, so I'll link that video in the description. Now, I also have a ton of content on my page that will help you with the study process. Okay, if you're looking for more videos on becoming a CEP or you know, study topics that aren't posted on YouTube, just comment them below. I interact with everyone, 100% of people who comment on my videos. I really appreciate the support, the comments, the likes, and the subscriptions. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you in the next video.